on the eve of 2017 Republic Day, Tata Motors showcased India's first fuel cell bus. Designed and developed with assistance from Indian Space Research Organization, this product will bring technologies developed for a rocket to the common man. Here's 5 things to know about this product. Hydrogen stored in compressed form would combine with oxygen from air in a fuel cell and generate electricity. This is the basic working principle of a fuel cell. In this case, the generated electricity will be used to run the bus. ISRO has developed expertise with storing and using compressed hydrogen at very low temperature for its cryogenic engine. Since fuel cell also involves storing compressed hydrogen at very low temperature, ISRO is sharing its expertise with Tata Motors. In 2006, Tata Motors signed a memorandum of understanding to design and develop such product. In 2013, concept was unveiled at Liquid Propulsion System Center at the ISRO facility in Mahendra Giri and has been in testing phase ever since. Tata Motors has also set up facility for testing fuel cell power system at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. In 2012, Tata Motors signed a memorandum of understanding with Ballard Power Systems of Canada. This was to purchase 12 fuel cell power module stacks. These were used by Tata in their development and testing phases. The power cell module can produce up to 120 kW of power. It uses liquid hydrogen as fuel, air as oxidizer, and a mixture of ethylene glycol and deionized water as coolant. A low-flow CNG-based electric bus was used by Tata Motors. The CNG electric generator was replaced with fuel cell power system. The bus being developed consists of fuel cell power system, electric traction, and hydrogen storage system. Also, the fuel cell keeps charging a lithium-ion battery which provides additional power when required. Regenerative braking is used which generates power during braking and charges the battery. The main advantage of fuel cell is that it produces no pollution. Also, compared to electric bus, it has the following advantages. It has comparatively a longer range of travel and it requires very less time to refuel or recharge. On the other hand, fuel cell technology is new to India and requires extensive refueling infrastructure before it can be actually used. In conclusion, even though this technology is years away from being actually used, this is nevertheless a small but significant step. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Do subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.